Welcome back to the channel. This episode, I will be looking at one from the Metazoa Brewing Company out of Indianapolis, Indiana. And this here is their Hoppopotamus. The cousin to the Hippopotamus, the legendary Hoppopotamus. This here comes in at 7% alcohol by volume, 70 IBU. Uh, 5% of all profits uh, of this brewery go to um, various wildlife and animal organizations. So, the little thing right on here, it says, drink beer, help animals. So, 5% of all profits go to, uh, says, various animal and wildlife organizations. It says right there on the back, got a nice little write-up there. I'm not going to get into all that. But I am going to get into the uh, tasting notes that they have on the back, which is like a description, really. Uh, it says, the hopoponymus may be gentler than its under unpredictable hippo cousin, but don't let the balanced flavor profile fool you. It's, a full, it's full of surprises, best appreciated from a wide mouth glass. The aroma is bright with notes of grapefruit, orange peel, and tropical fruit. A burst of floral bitterness from the citra and mosaic hops is balanced by a soft and sweetness from a light-handed dose of Vienna malt. Just when you think it's, it's gonna zig, it zags. Try to keep up. I tried to keep up with that reading there. So I, they got these little charts on the back of their cans. And this is like the third. I've had a few of them from these guys. And uh, I like the little chart there. It's got bitterness, malty, and color. And it's kind of got like a little chart going across there. Kind of cool that they do this. This whole thing is kind of written up like a, I don't know, like an animal file or something on here. It says style, India Pale Ale. Um, abstract, bright citrus aroma with citra mosaic hops, balanced by a light sweetness from Vienna. Uh, batch NBC dash hop and brewmaster John J. Wall. You see a signature there. They just got cool artwork. I just like what they do here. Uh, I stumbled across this brewer like a year ago, maybe. And, uh, you know, whenever I travel through uh, Indiana uh, on my way to Illinois, central Indiana, I usually stop there and um, try to pick up like a, like a four pack from them. I think this was... Uh, it was like 15 bucks or something like that for the four pack. So not a not a bad price point at all. And uh, I I dig, I'm an animal lover, so I dig the whole 5% to, um, to animals, um, different various uh, organizations and whatnot. So all good stuff there. Uh, this is 7% alcohol by volume. I, I thought they were calling this a Imperial, L yeah, an Imperial IPA, double IPA, whatever. Uh, but it doesn't say that on here. Um, I'll check online afterwards. Actually, you probably already know because I probably got it um, wrote somewhere, typed somewhere, whatnot. So I've rambled quite a bit and stumbled across my words quite a bit. So I'm going to get a pour on this thing and uh, see what it's all about. So very clear. I wasn't expecting it to be this clear. There's got a, a nice... A lot of clarity to it. A lot, a lot of clarity. Uh, there is a haziness to it, but man, it's pretty clear. Uh, just about a finger of just a white head up on top of it. Uh, it is frothy. Uh, there are some larger fisheye bubbles popping away in there, but just a golden, uh, just a golden color, really. You know, golden yellowish color to it. But very, very clear. Wow. Not that it's off-putting. Just kind of surprised me there. So let's get a nose on this thing. Oh man, they weren't lying on that. Yeah, that's like a blast of uh, citrus, tropical, floralness. And it smells nice. I definitely get that grapefruit there. Uh, generic tropical, I really can't pinpoint whether I'm gonna say pineapple or whatnot but it's just like a, a very uh generic tropical aroma but i'll say that grapefruit is is a no doubter i picked that up right away so nice nose on it uh head's about gone oh, there is some decent lacing still i guess there's about probably maybe a quarter of finger a head left in there but it is lacing fairly nice still so let's get a drink on this thing Oh, 
okay? I'm gonna say lower end of medium body mouthfeel. Just just barely cracks that that medium body to me. It's got a very, very bitter finish to it at 70 IBU. I was expecting that. You know what though? Um, for as clear as it is, I mean, I get a I get a decent amount of flavor in this thing, and this is about two months, not quite two months old right now. Um, maybe six or seven weeks right now, so still got a lot of life left in it. So crisp, carbonated, tingling on the tongue there, really, really bitter finish to the end of this, which I like. The more I'm drinking of this, the thinner. Um, it's starting to taste to me. You know, first off, I thought, ah, maybe around protein medium body, but this is very, very thin. Uh, especially for 7%, it's kind of thin. But it's easy drinking. You know, it's got a uh, a punch you in the face, hoppy bitterness on the tail end there. You can tell it's like a slap to the mouth there. I get the tropical, um, but to me, what I mostly pick is just a very raw grapefruit, citrus type of uh, finish, or not finish, but fill to it. Just very raw grapefruit pill it says orange pill i guess i pick up some orange in there but you can definitely tell it's that that just that that weird pill taste that you pick up like it's very strong in this one like bite just biting into uh you know the uh, uh the rind of a citrus fruit really not too bad though not too bad. Um, I'm going to be fair with the score on this, and I'm going to give it just a quick 3.95 out of 5. Um, punch it in just under a 4, 3.95. It's very, um, it's solid. It's very easy drinking and light drinking with just a tremendous bitterness on the tail end. Just a nice hoppy bitterness on the back end of it, which is actually pretty nice. Anyhow. Hope you like what you've seen here. I uh, hope you are a subscriber. If you're not, please become one. And uh, drop a comment down there. Give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate all that. And uh, like always, thanks for watching.